Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, feel free to join us in this conversation. Uh, first, I apologize for some reason my security, because it's so high, it keep blocking Google. And that what make me delay. I hope that will not happen now soon. And we will keep our podcast going live. Uh, the title is very normal. Quran is a book of errors. Prove me wrong. In the same time, if we go and type two words in YouTube, we will find endless videos made by Muslims trying to say to us that the Quran is a book of amazing scientific miracles. I mean, I never saw any religion in the world is obsessed with making videos about science in their book as Islam. But is it really true? Everything in the Quran or the claim in the Quran about science is nothing but a hocus, it's a lie, it's a big fat fabrication. And we are here to prove it. And if there is a Muslim would like to somebody he claimed that he knew something special, uh, we can open pal talk for you so you can call me live. If we go to Islamic websites, the scientific miracles of the Quran, look how many they are. Earth, atmosphere, Quran on a human embryo, uh, Quran on mountains, Quran in the origin of universe, Quran in, in, in Quran. But how much truthful those scientific miracles they are. I say sadly, none of them is true. And I, the reason I say sadly, because it's very sad that a human being became so corrupt to the point he used corruption to prove that Islam is religion of the truth. I mean, if somebody want to say to me, I believe in God, and this is my God, I mean, that's it, I believe in him, whatever he is. At least be decent and don't fabricate stories. Where is the dignity and why the Muslims, they fabricate stories? As an example, you know, this is the top. I'm, you see, I'm not me who is picking up a cherry. The earth atmosphere, the Quran spoke about the earth atmosphere. Guys, do you want to check it out? Which one do you want to check out? Which one do you want to check out? I challenge any Muslim to show me one. It's not a lie. I challenge any Muslim from around this earth to choose for me one of those claims is not a fabricated. First, we go to the first. Earth atmosphere. The Quran speak about earth atmosphere. Let us see if this is true or it's a big fat lie. Click in. Earth atmosphere. Modern science has discovered facts about the atmosphere mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago. In the Quran? All right. <laughs> Okay, who want to bet with me that this is a big fat lie before we start? Who is a Muslim want to bet? Who is a Muslim? He want to bet that this is a big fat lie and he can't prove me wrong. Any Muslim? Before we start reading. Any Muhammadan? If there is any Muhammadan, he want to bet? Anyone? Hmm? Okay, well, I don't know. I gave a chance. We go down to the article. By the sky which returns. The sky which returns. This is about the atmosphere? By the sky which returns. This is the atmosphere. <sighs> hmm. 
He who made for you the earth as a bed spread out and the sky as a ceiling. I thought you are quoting for me verses will speak about science, not about stupidity. The Quran here in this chapter, chapter 2, verse 22, it's saying that the earth is a flat. In Arabic, it says, Mihadan. Mihad, a bed. Yes, Mahad. Mahad, it's called, it's called bed because it's so flat. So you are trying to prove to me science from a verse saying the earth is a flat. And this is your choice. All right. And the sky as a ceiling. Hmm. You know what? Let us see how Allah made the sky as a ceiling and how Allah made the earth as a flat. Uh, I'm not going to use my own interpretation for, you know, we want to see what the Muslims see about this or the scholars of Islam. So nobody will say, oh, this guy, he is, uh, you know, picking up his uh, cherries and um, whatever he like, he show us, whatever he don't like. All right. Let us go and see. This is the website of Tafsir, used by Muslims. This is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. And those are your scholars, not mine. Let us see what the scholars say about this. الذي جعل لكم الأرض فراشا والسماء بناء وأنزل من السماء ماء فأخرج به من الثمرات. You see here, the first thing we notice. That the Muslim who translated the verse for us, he cut the whole child, the whole verse. He did not pause the verse. I mean, did you notice something fishy right away? If we go now to chapter two, this is chapter two, verse number twenty-two. This is the same chapter they choose for us. Okay, why you did not quote the verse? You will notice here they put few dots at the end. Do you see it? What do you mean screen CP? The screen is on. You don't see the screen? You don't see the screen, guys? What do you mean screen? Do you notice how he put the dots? Okay, why you did not quote the rest of the verse? That's it. The rest is like, what do you mean? I mean, here, are you saying to me the uh, 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 science of Allah is stopping here? The rest is garbage. We throw it in the garbage. Hmm. Here, you will find always what the Muslims do. Let us go step by step. This is the Islamic interpretation for the verse. It is He who assigned to you created the earth for as a, a as a couch, like a carpet. So the verse proving to us that the Quran teach that the earth is a carpet. This is the first mistake. That is laid out neither extremely hard nor extremely soft so as it to make it uh, uh, it's possible to stand in it to stand for a firm up, upon <laughs> and now the heaven as a roof okay but what is the roof let us show you how the Muslims they play games when they try to make uh, uh, something look like a science they will say to you to see even the uh, interpretation says it's a roof but the roof of the of the earth is not as you think. It's not about the atmosphere. The sky itself is a roof. The sky itself is a roof, which means when we reach that point, that point is the roof which we cannot pass. That is the ceiling for you. How we can prove that? We go to the Quran. And we will show you that what they claim to be science is nothing but a fiction and fairy tales. Here we go. <clears throat> Sometimes you type in Arabic, it ends to be in English. Chapter 55, verse number 33. This is the roof the Quran is speaking about. It's not only scientifically wrong, it's fairy tale. The God of Islam is saying to us that I made a roof for you, nobody can pass. 
and he changed the mankind and the genie and for sure we never saw the genie mr genie in the ball that's from the fairy tales for the cartoon but you can find it in the book of muhammad oh company of jinn and mankind if you have a power to betray through the zone of the earth and the heaven penetrate but you cannot unless allah give you permission who is the one who will get permission only the angels or the prophets that's it so when they say to you that verse is speaking about the ceiling and this is what about the atmosphere that's a big fat lie the ceiling here that allah he made the sky as a ceiling which nobody can reach not only that if you try to go to the scene of Allah, which means where Allah live, Allah will shoot your ass with fire. Do you see it? Muslims, do you see it? So do you see how they fabricate and they try to make what is scientifically error, they try to make it as science, when the fact this is nothing but a stupid fairy tale. If you try to go to the sky, Allah challenging the mankind and the genie. But already we went to the sky. Actually, just last week, the American they they they, they send Arab Sat satellite. It's called Arab Sat, made by the American. And the funny, they call it Arab Sat, but nothing about it uh, is Arabic. So look how they fabricate scientific miracle. What is a stupid and fairy tales? they make it about atmosphere and then they made for you a long article and they draw for you the atmosphere read the article with me in the first verse god swear by the sky allah swear by the sky hmm. and he says and its function of returning the function of returning Without specifying what is return. No, it doesn't specify what is return, you liar. Let us go there. Let us get you busted. Hmm. Shall we, guys? Chapter 86, verse number 11. This is the same chapter where it says that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone and the women have a sperm coming from her nipples. Do you remember? Or her necklace. <laughs> the same chapter. So look, the same chapter, which is a stupid chapter, Suddenly, they made this verse science. Okay, let us go there. Did Allah specify what is returned? Yes, He did specify your liar. Chapter 86, verse number 11. We go there. <clears throat> and by the way, what is return? The atmosphere will make things return? Yeah, right. Hmm. It's about the rain. Was sama o that your raja? Or what the Quran is saying? Rain keep coming, rain come coming, reap coming coming. That's it. It's not about it's going to return. It's about coming again and again. The rain. God He bring the rain again and again and again. Do you see it, or I'm making things up? Guys, do you see it, or I'm making things up? So do you see how they lies? What was about the rain suddenly became about the atmosphere. And because they, are, they assume that you are an, just a Western idiot who do not know what they are talking about, you do not speak Arabic, and there is no way for you to figure out what, what this is about, they believe that you will believe it, and there is many stupid fools, they believe it. It took us less than five minutes to prove that this is a big fat lie and not only that the whole verses they are quoting for us proving Islam to be stupid why let us go to the Quran what's the or that Roger let us love together The verse they choose for us, or the chapter they choose for us, Muslims they try to make many scientific miracles of it, but the fact it is the stupid, the mo one of the most stupid chapters in the Quran. 
look what the human being is a created from he is a created from gaussian fluid issued from between the backbone and the ribs <laughs> What is that? Let us go and see some Islamic scholars to explain to us the verse. We will use a very famous one, which the Muslims, they like him very much, but now they will hate him for sure because he is not being good. He is getting Allah busted. Chapter 86. Verse from 1 to 11 anyway. Here we go. And let us show you the whole text together. All right. Look what the human being is created from. What does that mean? Meaning, this is Ibn Kathir talking. This is the Quran. And this is Ibn Kathir, the scholar of Islam, talking. Meaning, the sexual fluid comes from uh, out breasting uh, uh, forth from the men and the women. Thus, the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Okay. Proceeding from between the backbone. And the ribs meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women so the God of Islam teaching us how he made the baby come to earth to exist there is a gushing fluid come from the women and when we say gushing fluid this is a gushing fluid come in the private part regardless if it is women or men man so gushing fluid this is a sexual fluid as you see this is what this is sexual fluid coming from the man and the women just make it clear Sexual fluid is not something going inside the women uh, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, you know, sexual fluid is, 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 is about sex. Okay. The man have orgasm. The women have orgasm. That is the sexual fluid we are talking about. The women, she see it in her, in her vagina. The man, he see it coming out of his penis. And we can show the hadith Muhammad explaining that too. And he described the man orgasm as a white and thick and the women orgasm as thin and yellow which is very weird uh, as i've been told by somebody uh, supposedly the expert or doctors uh, in the comments before that this is uh, the yellow uh, when a human woman she have a yellow uh, water uh, that means she have an infection it's not a good sign of a healthy women look like muhammad all the women he stepped with him he made them infected with something uh, Muhammad, he said, read carefully with me. The messenger of Allah said, The man water is thick and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Whichever of them comes first, the child will resemble the parents. So, look how stupid chapters the Muslims they make it about science, about atmosphere. The verses where it says the earth is a flat, they did not talk about it, they jump it. And they switch the meaning of the verses to make you believe that the Quran is speaking about science. This is why I don't respect, really, uh, I mean, those who claim those things, I don't respect them because you are a certified liar. If you read the article, in Islamic doctrine, a divine oath signifies, signifies magnitude of an important or a special relationship to the creator okay i will go with this the description guys did they say when allah he swear by something it have to be have a special uh, uh, relationship with the creator did they say that we just saw that right okay allah swear by the fig allah swear by the fig what is the relationship what is the magnitude huh relationship between the fig and allah any Muslim can tell us? Allah in love with fig? In the Quran, Allah swear by the fig and he swear by olive. Let's see. This website is stupid.
Read and love. And by the way, when we read Islamic interpretation for any verse, you will die laughing if you speak Arabic, because every one of them he give you different interpretation. By the fig and the olive. Hmm. We just learned that when Allah he swear by something, he have a special uh, relationship between that thing and Allah. Let it go. As you see, by the fig and the olive. Going back. The second verse described the divine act that made the sky ceiling for dwellers of the earth. Let us see what modern atmosphere science has to say about the role and the function of the sky. The atmosphere is a word which uh, 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 mean the air surrounding the earth from around all the way up to the edge from which space starts. The atmosphere compo uh, uh, composed of uh, several layers, each def uh, okay, blah, 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 okay, now he says, Rain for one is returned to the earth. Rain for one is returned to the earth. Mm. So he's saying to you here, okay, well, it's speaking about the rain, but this is because of the atmosphere. But Allah did not say that, and even the Quran did not say that. The Quran says that Allah, he provides rain always. He is not saying the, earth, the, the, the rain go up and come down. Actually, we can prove that very easy from different places. Where Allah He sent the rain and the snow and the hail. Anyone remember? The Quran described for us where Allah He sent them. He have a warehouse in the sky. It's not the rain vibrate as a, as a steam and go back as a as a as a rain from the ocean. No. First of all, we go here. The Quran. <coughs> Let us go to what first we go first. Uh, <clears throat> All right, let's go to this one. Uh, the Quran claim that Allah He sent hail. And ice from mountains in the sky and he break the ice from those mountains read carefully with me chapter 24 verse number 43 let us zoom in and by the way we can change the translation for those who like it uh, hasn't though not seen how Allah Wolfed the cloud and he gathered them and he made them liars and then sees the rain comes from between them okay you notice here first of all the verse is speaking always about something we see not something is unknown correct when i say to you didn't you see that's mean it's something we know do we agree if I say to you, didn't yet, didn't you see? There is no way you did not see. I mean, if I say to you, so the Quran always make the same mistake. By the way, uh, some verses where he mentioned Allah, Allah, he says, didn't you see? But in fact, there is there is things we did not see. And the Quran is full of garbage like this. Didn't you see? Didn't you see? Things we never saw. As an example, Allah he tell us about 
uh, stories of uh, supposedly happened to people before us and it says didn't you see no we did not see <laughs> let me give you an example for those who don't understand what I'm saying uh, You know, maybe for some people who don't have like a sharp brain, they don't notice those things when they read. Let us read. Chapter as an example, just an example. We, wanna, we don't want to show you everything in the Quran and say, didn't you see, didn't you see, because there's tons of it. Okay. No, we did not see them, did you? This is a story about Moses. Chapter 2, verse number 243, 246. Let us see. Okay. Any one of you guys saw what happened to Moses? Did Muhammad ha uh, witness what happened to Moses? So how you say didn't you see? Do you know I me mean, guys? If I say to you didn't you see it's mean you witnessed that But they did not see they saw nothing I did not see what happened to Moses. I heard about what happened to Moses when you say, didn't you see? Then that means they saw it. Change the translator if you don't like the translation. Hmm? What what translation? Abdul? Any Abdul in the in the bushes? What translation you like, Abdul? We are here in your service. What do you want? Karari, Karabani, Sahih International, Sarwar. I, even the names are weird. I mean, what is that? Sarwar, Shar, Sharkir, what is that? Any Muslim have a he, he favor a specific translation? What is your favorite translation, Abdul? All of it is halal. What do you want, Yusuf Ali? Let us see, Yusuf Ali. Right. Has do not turned the vision of the chief of the children? We do not see the vision. What vision? I mean, this translation is really this guy. He is translation in the language of Shakespeare. What what for, what vision? We, we saw that. Nobody saw. We did not see. The same here, two two forty three. We did not see. Nobody saw. Even the people you are talking about, we we did not see what happened to them. We did not witness them. We do not even know them. And that the same for every many many stories with the Quran. The chapter uh, uh, two verse number two five eight. Change the translation just for the sake of uh, potato tomato. What translation you like, Abdul? Hilali. Haven't you looked at him who dispute with Abraham? No, we have not looked at him. I mean, how in the world I will look at him who dispute with Abraham? I was there, you was there. And the funny Muhammad, he have no reference what, whatsoever for what he's saying. Like the Quran is a is a standalone comedy. You see, in the in the in the Bible, you know, if I want to if somebody says something in the New Testament, we know we go and check it out where it is the story in the Old Testament. In the Quran, it's a standalone book. Comedy book. Okay, didn't you look at him who dispute with Abraham? No, we did not look at him who's dispute with who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Give me his name. There's no name too. So it's a very silly book. Keep saying to us, didn't you see? Didn't you see? And we, you know, see who? So the Arabic language is wrong, the English translation is funny, and Allah is silly. We go back to the article. Rain for one is returned. Okay, let us prove that this is a lie. Okay. We mentioned to you first the first one Allah, He sent hail from mountains in heaven, correct? We show it to you already. Who remember? Do you remember? Hmm. Allah, 
He sent hail from mountains in heaven. Let's <sighs> open line so we can see. All right. He sent down from heaven, from, from the heaven, mountains where is hail. Translation is funny, by the way, not true. The, the correct translation should be, should be, we send down from hail, from, from uh, 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 hail, from the heaven, from mountains where is hail. So Allah, he sent hail from mountains where they are located in mountains in the heaven. Now, is that scientifically accurate? So, what the Quran is saying to us, Allah, he sent rain, Allah, he sent hail, and all of them, they are stored in mountains in heaven. It's not what the Muslim, they say to us. The other verse about the rain coming again and again is not about the rain is returning again and again. It's about it's coming again and again, which means always there is rain. Which means the rain of Allah never end. Let us prove that with more reference. Get them busted. And by the way, here there's a mistake too, before we move to different verse. The God of the Quran claim that he created the three kind of creatures the one and here by the way there's a mistake in the arabic language it says from them who walk in his belly the quran is stupid because if you if you are a creature who move by in your belly you don't say the word yamshi in arabic even in english you don't say walk you say creep exactly the same in arabic we say yes so Allah, he says, Yemshi. Yemshi is not really. Yemshi from some, somebody, he walked with his feet. Then the verse continues saying, so this is the first kind. The one who walk in his belly. Stupid statement. And the one who have two legs. And the one who have four. So this is what Allah created. But is that is that accurate or this is stupid? All the creatures, they have either one of those options. That's false. And not only that. What about the one who swim? Yet he walk in his belly. And yet he have four legs like the crocodile. <laughs> You know what I mean? What about the insect who have 20, 30 legs? I don't know how many. You know, I, once I was dating one of those insects, she was late. And I said to her, honey, why you are late? Uh, she said I was putting my shoes. She have like 30, 40, 40, 40 uh, legs. And the Quran saying Allah, he created only only this kind of creatures with two legs or three legs two legs or four legs let us go back to the topic so here the quran confirmed that allah he sent hail from mountains in heaven which means he break hail from the mountain and he threw it at you by the way in case you do not know according to islam thunder the lighting you see in the sky is he is what who want to help me what is thunder anyone want to help me what is the thunder according to the quran anyone remember as long as they are talking about rain and what is the thunder thunder in the quran no he's an angel if you go to chapter 13, verse number 13 in the Quran, you will see the Quran says that thunder is an angel who prays Allah. 
and they asked the prophet about what about the fire belt we see he said this is a fire belt he beat the cloud with it so thunder is an angel and he beat the cloud with the fire belt makes sense I mean come on let us go and see the interpretation and so so people will not say I'm making things up chapter 13 verse 13 all right <clears throat> okay Oh. Look here. By the way, the the translation here, Ibn Ibn Athir in English, is not the same as Ibn Kathir in Arabic, and I will show you. The thunder. Uh. Abdullah ibn Zubair used to hear the thunder. He would stop talking and would supplicate, all praise be to whom a, a, a rad, a thunder, glorifies and praise. Okay. Where is the... They took it off. I don't see. I mean, hold on. Where is the... Where is... As usual. Yeah, they took it off. Let us try to get them busted because I can show in Arabic, but you know, we, we have to show you in English because you guys don't speak English. I mean, Arabic. Let us go to the from website. Hold on. What we can do? Our duty to get them busted. Hmm. Read with me carefully. Here we go. At least here, they did not hide it and cut off the text. And the thunder, he is an angel. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? No, no, I don't want you just to trust me. No, no, here we are. This is a school. This is not a trust me. It's not about trust me, my friend. It's about a school. A teacher, a, a, a good teacher, if he, he want to share something with you, he have to prove it. Otherwise, he, maybe he's making things up. Don't Just don't trust. You have? Show me. Don't say, uh, you know, no, show us. So he is an angel. Who is in charge of the cloud? Why the Muslim don't put in the article that Allah is the only one discovered that Mr. Thunder is an angel? Why they did not add that in the in the in the article? Here we go. The only one who discovered this is Allah. Mr. Thunder is an angel. He is in charge of the cloud. <laughs> that he is the cloud uh, shepherd, <laughs> driving them while constantly. Proclaim his praise that he says look what he says. He says but in his language, you know the language of uh, the, the, the thunder Glory be to Allah Through his praise Subhanallah and he's speaking Arabic Even the thunder he speak Arabic. Do you see it? Subhanallah Alhamdulillah So when you hear the thunder You know what to say. I mean this is I mean, do you see how they lie to you? What is a stupid? They make it science. Do you see how they switch stupidity into mir in miraculous way into science? This is a miracle. This is really a miracle. Let me introduce to you, Mr. Uh, the Angel of Allah. Mm -hmm. You hear the thunder? He's praising Allah now.
What do you want more proof? This is proven scientifically to be true. Ask any scientist. He will tell you right away that thunder is an angel of Allah. When he makes the sound, he is speaking in Arabic saying, Subhanallah, what's wrong with you people? Listen, here we go. Subhanallah, I heard that me myself, I speak Arabic. But because you are a kuffar, you cannot hear it, you cannot understand it. I can hear it. I speak Arabic very well. Here, here he's saying, uh, shut up in Arabic. And so, two angels proclaim his praise in Awi of him. Uh, by the way, the, uh, I, I want to go to make a theory in Arabic. For, hold on, I don't know. I, I can, I, I want to show you where it says that he they explain how, uh, how, how, uh, uh, like it's like a symphony. You, know? you see those like Shakespeare, they play like bah, 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 or, or Mozart. Pa, 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 and there's like a hundred people playing it's exactly the same but the bigger number bigger number let me go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic just to show you the huge difference between Arabic books and English books English books translation is a false translation and they cut off what is written there <clears throat> all right Uh, it's reported by Ali that when 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 the thunder he's you know he make a sound he is saying praise be to Allah praise be to He okay let us continue. Uh, pa, 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 pa. I'm trying to find you where is the reference which we want to read all of this is by the way is funny and lovely but it's a long thing to translate I'm not sure. They always try to hide the madness in their books, but it doesn't work with me. Let us see here. Because it should say that there is 70,000 angel in the right side of the hand of the, of the angel of the thunder, or the one who is, his name is thunder, another 70 in his left hand. So when he move his belt to the right, 70,000 they scream. And when he move his hand to the left, 70, other 70,000 they scream. All right. I cannot really, I cannot find it in this uh, website until now. And I don't like to mention something without showing it in the screen. Give me a second. <clears throat> we better show it. So people can see it. Here we go. 
uh, you see like you know as uh, sometime it might take some time to find things but it's better to find it uh, better than you see look, look let me show you I'm, I'm reading the same book the same book here in the front of me but I cannot find it in in this uh, website the same book I cannot find where it says that I flip page by page I don't see where it says 70,000 angel in the right 70,000 angel in the left you see I'm reading again just to be sure uh, I don't see it but if we go to the original book here we go let me show you This is a Jamia Ali Ahkam al Quran, volume number nine. Look what it says here. He said that the, the thunder, they praise be Allah, they, they say praise be to Allah. Okay? And the thunder is an angel who is sitting on a chair between the sky and the earth. Let me highlight it so you those you know you can see with me. So he's a thunder, the, the thunder is an angel who is sitting on a chair between the sky and the earth. And in his right, there is 70,000 angel. And in his left, there is the same number, which means 70,000. So if he move his hand, the right hand, or to the right side, uh, he, he prays and all of those who they are in the right, they praise from the from the fear of Allah they are they are not praising Allah because they love Allah but because they are terrified from Allah it's like they are chicken and if he move to the left he prays and the other 70,000 all of them they praise by the fear of Allah do you see it Muslims now who Muslim want to say to me I'm lying okay so why we don't see those things in the in the articles the Muslims they make about science that the thunder is in the Quran is an angel of Allah. Hmm? And this is not metaphorical, by the way. They can't say, because as you see, even the Muslim scholar, they are saying he is an angel. All right. What else? When the Muslim, they speak about the atmosphere, Where the atmosphere started, according to the Quran, anyone knows? Anyone knows where is the atmosphere started? Who knows? Water? No, there's no atmosphere in the Quran. Look what the Quran says. The Quran claimed that the sky is seven skies. So where is the atmosphere, Muslims? Do we have an Abdul? Where we can find the atmosphere. Let me, sh let me show you how the easiest way to get them busted. Until now, how many mistakes we show? Tons of mistakes. But we know one more will not change anything. The Quran confirmed that Allah created from the sky seven and he created seven earth too. Seven skies. But hold on. Is the lowest sky is the atmosphere? In different articles, the Muslim they say, yes. The lowest sky is the atmosphere. How we can prove that this is going to be true? Anyone knows? <clears throat> Chapter 42, verse number 12. It says that the lowest sky is where the stars are located. 
Do you see it? There's no other skies. That's it. There's seven skies. <laughs> so what is the atmosphere? If the lowest sky is the atmosphere, Allah claim that this is the only place where the stars are located. Do you see it? Who is a Muslim here agree with this? Any Muslim agree with this uh, madness? Uh, uh, look, uh, let me show you what this guy is saying, just to show you the ignorance of the Muslims. Just to show you the ignorance of the Muslims. CP, in 1313, ayah means that the thunder declared the glory to Allah and His praise. That does not imply that the thunder is an angel. The verse is saying it's an angel. Do you know how to read? And not only I'm, I'm not the one who's saying that it's your scars <coughs> I mean you see the Muslims you show them in the front of their eyes you give them the reference you give them the book name and then they say to me CP it does not say that let us read again Abdul let us read again I am not the one saying that here we go Try not to laugh at your, you know, your religion. Don't tell me it does not. Who are you? You don't even know how to read Arabic. Yet you want to explain the Quran for us. And the thunder is an angel who is in charge of the cloud. Who is talking? Ad Jalalain. Now I want your Majesty, as long as you are smart, and Ad Jalalain is a donkey. That's what you are saying to me. That you are smart, and Jalalain, who wrote tons of Islamic books, big one of the most smart Muslims ever. Actually, I have to admit, this guy is really a genius. I have to admit, forget about the stupidity here, but compared to the to the rest of the Abdul, we cannot compare. This guy is really a big brain, but he is infected by the virus of Islam. It's the same as two twelve. What two twelve? They read it in the front of you. And the Quran says, "Wa yusabbihu radu bihamdihi wal malaika min khifatihi." The ride and the angels they are praising Allah. Okay, is that metaphorical? No, the ride is an angel, and he is the chief of the angels who are made to scream. The tree and the sun and the moon they are not. Hold on, no. According to Islam, trees are living creatures and even stones. And they say to your Prophet, Assalamu alaikum, do you remember the hadith? Which is proving that Muhammad is a madman. Muhammad, when he walked in the valley, he heard the, st the stones saying to him, Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad, in Arabic. And he, he, he said to them back, Wa alaikum assalam. So, according to your religion, this is real as an example. The Quran says that Allah, He offer. The sky, the mountains, to believe in Islam, to convert to Islam, they refuse. Hmm? Inna aradna al-amata ala samawati wal ard wa jibal. Okay, read with me. Chapter thirty-three, verse number seventy-two. Allah having conversation with the with the with the mountains. The mountains are living creatures, and the sky too. We offer the trust into the heaven and the earth and the hills. By the way, it doesn't say hills. This is the mountains. But they refuse it from refuse because they fear to bear it. The only one who accepts is the human being. Okay, you tell me how Allah spoke to the mountains. How the mountain they say to Allah, no. Are you there? Uh, the Muhammadan in the text how the mountains they say to Allah no it 
is that a real story or Allah is fabricating a story because if this is not a true it's mean Allah is a liar correct guys if the mountain they cannot talk that's mean Allah is saying something silly and stupid because he offered them nothing they refuse nothing I'm waiting for your answer okay he said this is a metaphor but this is a lie this is cannot be metaphor because metaphor metaphor if it's it, it's possible I offer the mountains the mountains refuse metaphor of what guys look at this metaphor <laughs> metaphor of what it's a mountain how that can be a metaphor <laughs> Okay, let me ask you, uh, Abdul, in the text. Go ahead. Did your prophet speak to the stones? Did your prophet claim that stones they talk? Is that metaphor or this is true? I want an answer, please. I want an answer. Did your prophet claim that stones they talk? Either you say yes or you say no. I'm waiting for you. Are you searching Google? <coughs> Where is your answer? It wasn't Muhammad who said that. It was Solomon. What Muhammad? What Solomon? What this guy is talking about? I mean, I never saw a Muslim. He knew what he's talking about. Solomon, Solomon, he says that. Hmm. All right, let us see who said that. Give me a second. Let us get the liars busted. Who is the one who said that? You said to me, Solomon. Well, let me tell you, Solomon, he says, nice to meet you, liar. Do you see it? Who is the one who claimed that stones they talk? Are you there? And by the way, it doesn't make a difference anyway. If Solomon or Muhammad, if you can, if you confirm that the prophet of Islam, Solomon, he said that, that means he's a stupid too, like your prophet. That will not change anything. That means your prophet is a stupid liar. He lied about Solomon saying something not true. That will not change anything. But as you see, it's your prophet saying that. Are you there? Weak hadith? Oh, guys, it's a weak hadith. Uh, it's not. Nice to meet you. It is not a weak hadith. So what we will do now? The second try fail. Do you have better? It's not weak hadith. What we will do now? And by the way, even the weak one is accepted. <laughs> no, Hassan is Sahih, you idiot. You do not know what Sahih mean. You see, Sahih, all of them say Sahih. Even the weak is Sahih, by the way. Even the weak is Sahih. The difference is that when we say Sahih, it's mean it's it is like 99.9% is accurate in every letter, or there's more witnesses. But the weak, it is still Sahih, which means it's still accepted, it's not rejected. There's there is a donkey like you. His name is Sheikh Hamza. He explained to you and he says in his video, weak hadith did not funk. It passed. It passed for the, for, the, for the donkeys who keep lying. And he said, weak hadith is a weak argument. Do you want me to play the video for you? <laughs> so look at the Muslims. 
anything we say okay hold on hold on as long we are talking about science and talking about so a weak hadith we will throw it in the garbage this is not this is not weak this is number one I will go with you here we go what about this one the Sun sit in the murky water what we will do this is Sahih now Are you there? You're a prophet. He claimed that the sun every day sit inside the muddy hot water. Jacuzzi. And this is Sahih. So what we will do? What the game? What is the game now? What we what, what the game you want to play? What is next? Now you will say to me, Sahih is weak too. Even Sahih is weak. Anything will make Muhammad look like a fool. They ref they refuse it. Say something. What do you want to say now? Hello. What happened to this guy? He died. Is 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 playing dead? Are you playing dead now? He died. He's driving now. Now he's driving, guys. The guy is Muslim. Uh, uh, look, look, look at this guy. Hold on, hold on. Just to show you how he will regret what he said. Another Muslim, he said. So Sheikh Hamza is better than Imam Muslim. Who wrote the whole chapter in refute refuting the weak hadith, my friend? Just to show you how stupid what you just said. When you say Sahih Muslim, he wrote chapters refuting the weak hadith, and then we show you something from Sahih Muslim, and you say to me, "This is weak." That who is the donkey now? If Sahih Muslim, he made a chapter refuting the weak hadith. Why he put in his hadith? Hadith, you say it is weak. Not him. <laughs> Let us show him what Sahih, uh, 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 <laughs> what Sahih Muslim said, and in a second he will say, "I don't accept Sahih Muslim." Do you accept Sahih Muslim? Say yes. Abdul, Muslim uh, robber, whatever your name. Say yes, I accept Sahih Muslim very first chapter which okay i want you to say i accept sahih muslim i mean do you have the courage to say i accept sahih muslim say that hello Do you accept Sahih Muslim? You are the one who said to me, which one is better, Sahih Muslim or Sheikh Hamza? I'm asking you, do you accept Sahih Muslim? Look, he covered off now. He don't want to talk. And suddenly he's dead. I accept all Sahih narrator. That's wonderful. Guys, he accept all Sahih. Okay, that's that's the great. I mean, so what we want more? Okay, as long you accept all Sahih narrator, I want you to explain to me this. Let us see. <clears throat> Remember, guys, he said he accept all Sahih narration. Your prophet said, "Do you know where the sun goes?" 
they replied this is Sahih Muslim by the way don't tell me you just said they accept Sahih Muslim okay they replied Allah and his Apostle knows best the Holy Prophet said uh, that this the Sun goes and resting under the throne of Allah then it failed to prostrate and remain there until it asked to raise up and go to the place whence you come and it goes back and continue emerging out of from its rising place and etc until judgment day uh, the son ask Allah permission to go back Allah doesn't give him so do you agree with your prophet that the son every day every day go and prostrate itself under the throne of Allah do you agree this is how the sunset happened do you agree with the science of your prophet and as as you see this is Sahih Muslim Who is a Muslim agree with that? Hmm? Read with me carefully. And it returned and emerged out of from the rising place. So there is a rising place, there is a sitting place for the sun. This is exactly what the Quran says in chapter 18. That Zulkarnain he found where the sun set in the murky water. And and it's a glitz. In such a normal way that the people do not the screen anything like something unusual till it reach its resting place under the throne then it would say to it rise up and emerge from the place where you sit in <laughs> so the God of Islam explain how the Sun said don't don't change the topic guys do you agree that God he live in a tent <laughs> It's your God who live in the tent, not my God. You see, my God, my God, when we, you know, uh, uh, when a Muslim, he quote for us a verse from the Old Testament. And he said the tent, the whole universe is his tent. The whole world is, is his own. Don't be silly. And don't change the topic. And this is not about science. This is metaphorical. Here, this is about science. You're a prophet. Is speaking about that the sun set by sitting under the throne of Allah moving every day from point A to point B you're a prophet to claim that the sun set in the murky water hmm? and as you see this is Sahih so what the tent have to do with this you are trying to escape the disaster so you must have you made articles about science and the Quran, but the fact the Quran is a stupid book. You are lying to people saying that the Quran speak about the atmosphere. When your God teach that the sun set in the murky water, and here we go, this is your prophet saying that. Let us see it in the Quran. <clears throat> In chapter 18 verse number 86 the Muslim they try to fabricate explanation for this verse because it's it's very embarrassing so look what they say they say that here it says till when he reached the sitting place of the Sun he found it sitting in a muddy spring it is not Allah saying that it is how Allah is saying how the guy he thought it looked like but it doesn't say that they lie the one is talking here is Allah and look what he said the man Allah he gave him a guidance who is talking Allah Allah said to Muhammad they are asking you about the Quran the man with the two horn say I shall recite to you some of his remembering some about history about him Lu we made him strong in the land he is a messenger of Allah Allah made him give him victory and we gave him into everything a road so Allah guide him in the road and he followed the road which Allah gave him 
till when he reached the sitting place of the sun he reached where guys when we say till what does that mean people when we say till what till mean it's mean until he something happened okay what happened here he reached the sitting place of the sun i want to ask you what is the sitting place of the sun any muslim can tell me forget now about the sun sitting in the murky water the story have something stupid because the quran and allah confirmed that the guy keep walking keep walking keep walking until he found a place where the sun set what is that Who is the Muslim I tell us? What you want to play dead now? Okay, let me show you what the Muslims they say, guys. I like to show you what the Muslim says, so you know we can be fair. Okay, let look what this Abdul he said. Read carefully with me. He is describing from his perspective Zul Qurnain. So he is describing as the man who his name is Zul Qurnain. He saw it, but that would be this. That's false. Why? Because the verse saying, till when he reach, it's not the, the Quran saying, until I reached, I found. Correct, guys? Do you see here, it says, till when he reach, who's talking? Allah. If the Quran is a stupid, why Allah saying he found the sitting place of the sun? If the Quran saying, until I reach the place of the sun, and he is a stupid this is a problem but the one saying speaking there is Allah this is why it says till when he reach who is talking Allah Allah is saying until he reach the sitting place of the Sun not until he saw something he looked like for him <laughs> and now to get you busted more we go to the hadith what we will do with this this is your prophet now so when you say to me, this is how it appeared to him, and you are trying to say that Zulqarnain is a stupid donkey, you just insulted your prophet, but because you're a prophet, he agree with the Quran that the sun set in the murky water. Do you see it? So what we will do now? And if you want to lie and you want to say this is a weak hadith, we will laugh at you. Any comment? And not only that, the stupidity continue. Not only he found where the sun set, no, he discovered more. He found the place where the sun set, and then he found it in the muddy water where Muhammad he confirmed that. But the stupidity continue. Read with me carefully. If we go down a few verses, you will see that this guy then he changed his road. All right. And then he switched the highway till when he reached the rising place of the sun. <laughs> That's even more stupid. I want to ask the Abdul, the guy he tell, he keep walking, keep walking, keep walking. And this is took him years, by the way. This is not a one day trip. Allah speaking about a life journey for this man. This is not a one day trip. So he keep going, keep going, keep going till he reach the rising place of the sun abdul all the abdul in the bushes where we can find the location of the rising place of the sun so he stopped there any muslim can tell me you want to tell me this is from his eye perspective that would be funny even if sahih al-bukhari wrote it in two years after muhammad he did not even meet uh, okay, uh, guys, let me show you the stupidity here. Look at this. Even if Sahih al-Bukhari wrote that, he did not meet Muhammad for the last 200 years. Well, Muhammad, he never met Jesus for 600 years.
So how come Al-Bukhari, if you wrote about Muhammad 200 years after, now you spit at him? But Muhammad writing about Jesus 600 years after, thousand of years after Abraham, thousand of years after Moses, yet you have no problem. Let me tell you why, because you are a hypocrite. Is that correct, guys? Is that is that is that correct? If you refuse Al Bukhari because he wrote, and by the way, Al Bukhari he wrote nothing. There's no book of Al Bukhari. I challenge to find me the book. This is all is a book. They claim there's a book. It's called Al Bukhari, but we cannot find the book. There's no Sahih Muslim. There's no Al Bukhari, and there's no Quran. It's not two hundred years actually. It's three hundred years. What two hundred years? So now because Al-Bukhari is getting your prophet busted and we spank him in his ass, you say, okay, I don't accept Al-Bukhari because he came 300 years after Muhammad. Well, Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He never met Jesus. He don't even speak the language of Jesus. So how he can witness to Jesus? Hello? So now the story get more exciting. He found where the rising place of the sun, but this is stupid because we do not need to go anywhere to find where the sun rises. The sun rises everywhere. <laughs> do I need to go somewhere to see where the sun rises? Huh? Abdul, do we need to go somewhere to see where the sun rises? Who is a Muslim when I tell us? <coughs> Anyone? Any Muslim? The only choice for the Muslim now they try to change the topic. And look, the Abdul, he is posting for you the Book of Psalm. The Book of Psalm is a poetry. The, 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 the one who wrote this song, it's a song. It's not even God talking. He is meditating, talking to God. And let me tell you the bad news about, about the, book, the, the Book of uh, uh, Psalm for you. Because you Muslim, you claim that the name of Muhammad is there, Muhammadim. Which showing the hypocrisy. When you want to attack the book, when you want to approve the book. Like did that, he was saying the song, the book, Song of Songs, is a, a, a book of porn. 20 years he's saying porn, 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 porn. Do you want to read this to your children? You know, and then suddenly he found the name of Muhammadim in the book, according to the Muslim. Suddenly it became a holy book. It's a holy song. It's not about a porn. So this is how silly they are. They try to compare what we have here with the poetry of a king saying a poet to God. What does this have to do with this? Silly, stupid. Desperate time need desperate measure. Correct? He's desperate. How we can escape the stupidity of the Quran? You see, before they say to us that uh, uh, okay, uh, 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 Al Bukhari he wrote it 300 years after Muhammad. This is the Quran. What we will do now? Why you Muslims don't answer me? Where we can find this, the rising place of the sun? Where is that place? I want to go there. I want to buy. A, uh, I want to buy a flying donkey. And I want to go there. I want to do Hajj there. It's my dream to find where the sun rise. I want to keep walking, keep walking, keep walking until I found where the sun rise. And not only that, look how the stupid story became more funny. He found he found it rising on people who have no uh, uh, appointed shelter just to make it to make you laugh more. Do you know what the Muslim they say? 
in the website of Harun Yahya, if you have my book, Quran and Science and Depth, the liars they say this is about the North Pole and this is about the the what they call it, uh, the hole in the the uh, the ozone, the ozone. <laughs> they say this is about the ozone, brother. Brother, this is about the ozone. This, do you, brother? It says he found their no cover over them, brother. They made this about the ozone. You believe it? The story is about people who they are next to where the sun rise, the sun rise in the, in, the, in in the North Pole. <laughs> the opposite. The stupidity in the Quran saying that he found people who have no shelter on them because they are African. They live in Africa, supposedly. They have no houses and they, they dig under the ground. I mean, the stupidity is amazing. So Africa became or become the North Pole. Suddenly, Zulkarnain, Alexander the Great, became Santa Claus. If we go right now and read, where is that? Let us, let us go and see the interpretation. A chapter 18, verse number 90. Just, to, just for a laugh. It's good to laugh, isn't it? All right. And Allah tell us, that Zulkarnain, when he traveled from the west of the earth toward the east, see the word at the east and the west is not the is not the North Pole. <laughs> Every time he passed a nation, he subjugated them and called them to Allah. So Zulkarnain, Alexander the Great, who was a bisexual, he was a Muslim prophet. That's it. Muhammad he decided to make him Muslim. What you can do about it? That's it. And he ordered people to worship Allah. True story. If they obey him, good is good. Otherwise, he would humiliate them and take their wealth and their position. And from every nation who took what their his armies needed to fight the next nation. All right. Until when he reached the place where the sun rise, as Allah says, he found it rising on people, meaning a nation. <laughs> For whom who we Allah had provided no shelter against the sun, meaning they had no buildings or trees to cover them and shade, shade them from the heat of the sun. If you go to the Muslims article, they made this is the North Pole. Guys, do you see how we I mean, do you see how they lie? What uh, this is Africa supposedly. Now, suddenly, for the Muslims, became the North Pole. Those people, they have no shelter to protect them from the heat of the sun. Have you ever heard of somebody live in the North Pole? He need the protection of the sun, the heat of the sun in the North Pole. So do you see how they lie? They show it in Arabic, as you know, Arabic, supposedly yourself. This is Ibn Kathir, who cares? I mean, look at this idiot, guys. Show it, show us in Arabic. But do you know Arabic? You don't. Show us in Arabic, brother. What's wrong now? This website, you don't want it? This is your Ibn Kathir website. Here we go. Huh? What? What I will do now? Show it in Arabic? You do you don't know Arabic really? Mm. Okay, as long as you know Arabic, I want you to translate this one for me. There's a hadith I could not translate, so maybe you can help me. <clears throat> can you brother translate this hadith for me? As long as you know Arabic? What do you think, guys? Is he going to translate? Who want to guess? Is he going to translate?
Gulid. I'm waiting for your translation, please. Come on, it's just two lines. Just translate what is in dark black. <coughs> he will not. Hello? Why well, you are playing dead now? You don't even text anything. Yeah, I know what he will say. He will say, I'm driving now. Let's go to the translation. That is science. Muhammad is here. There is no one whom Allah will admit to paradise, but Allah will F him to 72 women, two from the Huris and 70 from the inheritance from the people of hell, which means the hookers, which all of them, they will have nice, desirable front passages, which means they have nice, beautiful vagina, beautiful breast, beautiful legs, so they have only the front is beautiful by the way we do not know about the back the back may be scary desirable front passages allah will import them from where from hell special for sex and then he says and he will have your penis never become flat this is why he don't want to translate and this is why suddenly he don't know arabic Another weak hadith. <laughs> All Islam is weak hadith. <laughs> Another weak hadith. Let me ask you. I mean, how silly you Muslims. Weak hadith is accepted. And the proof is accepted. It is there. If this hadith is rejected, why you put it in the book? It's called Sahih. Just to show you the stupidity of the Muslim Abdul. How many books are considered Sahih for Muslims? Anyone knows? Like the most authentic books. Not only how many. I mean, just I'm saying how, the, the, the top authentic books. Six books. Do you see it? The book of Sahih are six books. So how the hadith is weak in a Sahih book? <laughs> so guys, the book is Sahih. The book itself is called Sahih. The hadith inside the book is Da'if. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's called Islamic comedy when we say Sahih mean authentic all right authentic books so the authentic are six books and when you show them from the authentic books they say it is not accepted <laughs> I love the Islamic comedy. It's the best, but it make you fat. Just to let you know. I mean, you you gain weight. You laugh a lot. So, the six authentic hadith book. Do you see the title? The six authentic hadith book. And when we show them hadith from inside those books, they say it is weak. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this is a very authentic. By the way, those books was authentic until we start laughing at them. And because it's very embarrassing, the Muslim, they start saying, it is not authentic. It is weak. 14 centuries, those books are authentic for them. Or let us say, since they are wrote or they're written. Garbage and garbage. They don't have a brain. I mean, look, when you are ashamed of your cult, you start saying rubbish just to defend. It's like somebody have a diarrhea. He don't care where he's going to get rid of it. He take off his pant and bzz, it's coming out. So the best way to avoid the risk is to turn off the fan. Otherwise, the diarrhea will be all over the ceiling and the wall. So look what the Muslims they do. We show them from six authentic books. Who is the one who called it authentic? Them. 
and the second they see a hadith which is embarrassing they say it is not authentic do you see the stupidity <laughs> the transmission is weak the only weak is you <laughs> So if the transmission is weak, why, why, why it is in the authentic book? <laughs> By the way, all those things you see here in the Islamic website, like it says that if this does not exist. By the way, this is fabrication. This is the this is the new edition the Muslims they add, because this is what the book the book is a Sahih Hadith. The author of the book he collect what he considered to be Sahih. He did not collect what is rejected. He collected what is authentic. Right? <clears throat> However, if we show the Muslims, From what is authentic are they going to accept it isn't it you a second ago you said to me this is al-bukhari he wrote 200 years after so suddenly now al-bukhari all of it is garbage <clears throat> let me show you something authentic and i want you to make a video and practice <clears throat> All right. What do you say about this hadith? Which is very authentic. The prophet said, if the fly the fly the black fly you see in your house the dirty garbage fly fail in your drink of any one of you he should dip it dip it dip it and then drink it why because for in one of the wings has a disease and in the other wing it has a cure for the disease <laughs> are you going to say to me this is weak Hmm? Who is the Muslim when a volunteer and say this is weak? Say it. I want you Muslims to practice this. Uh, 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 Gold this. You don't have a Quran to accept too. Okay, can you show me the Quran which is written 300 years after Muhammad? As long as you don't accept the Quran, the Hadith, because it's written 300 years after Muhammad. And by the way, by saying that, Islam is false. Why? Because your prophet says that everything in Islam is about hadith and Quran. Guys, let us go back. Hold on. Just to show you why Muslims believe Islam. Let us analyze what this gentleman here he said, this Muslim. I don't accept hadith. I think 200, 300 years is a long way. Also, People did not even know the Prophet. Bukhari never met Muhammad, nor did he know him. Okay, I will go with your logic. That's a good logic. But we just mentioned that's mean Muhammad himself, he should not speak about Jesus because he have twice more than what you rejected, 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus, he never spoke to Jesus. And he don't even know the language of Jesus. This is number one. Number two. If hadith is rejected and Islam is based on the hadith and in the Quran as an example there's many verses in the Quran are abrogated in the hadith give you one the muta do you do you do muta gold lace when is the punishment of rape in the Quran who is the Muslim want to show me the punishment of rape no one nowhere what is the punishment of uh, a gay in the Quran according to Islam? 
According to the hadith, it is death. According to the Quran, you beat him with sandals. Which one you take? So you cannot say I cannot take the hadith because you Muslims you practice the hadith, you don't practice the Quran. All your religion is based on the hadith. Nobody follow the Quran no more. Where is the verses of stoning to death in the Quran? Any Muslim can show it to me? <clears throat> Where is the verse that says uh, to punish a gay by death in the Quran? Who want to show it to me? Where is the punishment about rape? They have been abrogated. How you know there? You see, you see the stupidity, guys. Just to show you that the Muslims, I'm not insulting you, uh, uh, gold. I'm just speaking my mind, guys. Just to show you the stupidity, he just said those verses are abrogated. Who told you the hadith? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are really like kids. He just said, Why those that we cannot find those verses? He said, Because they are abrogated. How you know that? It's the hadith. But you just said you reject the hadith. <laughs> Do you have a verse in the Quran? It says that those verses are abrogated and it named them. What are they? Nowhere. Do you have a verse in the Quran? It says, that Allah he changes mind about the muta ah and he it's forbidden. Show me. Do you have a verse in the Quran where it says because in chapter 4, verse number 15, 16, 14, you can read it, it's speaking about that if uh, if two women they have sex, the punishment is jail them until they die. If a man have sex with a man, we harm them, we insult them by beating them by sandals. So, where is the penalty of death? Show me the verse that says Allah abrogate those verses and make it death. You cannot. So what do you do? You go and you say to me, it's abrogated, and you quote for me the hadith. This is why I feel sorry for the Muslims. <clears throat> Allah, he punished people who practice uh, homosexuality, and so there is, there, there, there is your proof? No, there is no proof. There is no proof. Let me show you. Let me show you. Is that your Quran or my Quran in the front of our eyes? Read with me carefully. <clears throat> if two of your women, they committed adultery, how women they committed adultery? Two women, lesbian. We jail them until they die. Where is the death? Verse after it, verse number 16. This is chapter 4, verse number 15 and 16. If two of your men have sex together, punish them by insulting them. If they repent, let them go. Do you see it? If they, if they repent, let them go. Show me where the Muslims believe if a gay have sex with a man, a man have sex with a man, if he repent, let him go. Can you? I'm waiting. Who want to show us the verse in the Quran saying this verse is abrogated and Allah punished those who they are gays? If we read the interpretation, guys, you want to read the interpretation? The Muslims, the Muslims, chapter 2, verse 106. Okay, let's go to chapter 2, verse 106. You know, here we go and we do what the Muslims ask us for. No wonder. Okay. Chapter 2, 106. Let us laugh together. Muhammad, he, you know, he called the stories from the Old Testament, but that would not make it change any different. Where is the punishment? Where is the punishment? There's no punishment. This verse he quote for me in chapter 2, 106 is a proof that Muhammad is a big fat liar. Why? Because it says nothing of our revelation. We abrogate or cause to be forgotten. Allah caused it to be forgotten. Why? And I will give you an example. Is the chapter of Al Muta abrogated or not? Is the verse of the Muta abrogated or not? The answer is yes. Is it forgotten? No. 
is the chapter or the verse where it's forbid Muslim from marrying from a Christians or non Muslims is it abrogated you say no you say yes is it for is it forgotten no <laughs> So this verse here is a proven to us that Muhammad is a liar. Why? Because he says, if a verses we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, we will make in instead of it something like it or even better. And that to prove to us that Muhammad is a liar because how Allah will make better Quran than the Quran of Allah? Allah will make Quran better than the Quran of Allah and Allah will make Quran the similar as the Quran he caused you to forget. So what the point? Read and love. None of our revelation do abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. So let me let me say this to you: Eat hummus, eat hummus, and then I now I'm going to abrogate this verse. I abrogate this verse. I make you forget it, and I give you something similar. What is a similar? Hummus, eat hummus, eat. <laughs> hey Joy, how are you? How is the Philippine doing? You see, guys, the stupidity. If you want to give me something similar, so why you make me forget it and why you abrogate it? The reason for this, the reason for this stupid drama, Muhammad he cannot recite the verse twice correctly. So he wanna explain why he is forgetting the Quran. So he said, give an excuse saying, Yes, Allah make me forget the Quran, but don't worry, be happy. Allah will give me something even better or similar. <laughs> is this verse Quran? no there is no there's no verse in the Quran you see in order to abrogate abrogate a verse this verse is here just explaining that Allah he calls you to forget and if he calls you to forget or abrogate he will give you something better that's all but there's no verses to where it says uh, the muta is forbidden nowhere but Muhammad because he cannot quote the same verse twice so he will explain to you why he is silly stupid. So he says, oh, if Allah made me forget, don't worry about that. Allah will make me, uh, give me a better verse. And the worst scenario is going to be something similar. <clears throat> if we ask Zach and Naik about this verse, what he will say? <clears throat> Brother Theta, there's a person in the name of the Christian prince, and he always tried to make fun of the Quran. And I did ramble, he said to you at, in chapter 2, verse 106, he said, that if Allah, none of our revelation, we do abrogate or could be forgotten. But we are going to substitute something better or similar. And here you see that Allah is absolute genius. Because Allah not only will cause you to have a new abrogated verse, but he will make you forget because that will erase your memory and that will save memory from your head. As an example, if you keep having more files, more files in your computer, your computer will be full of memory. And you will have a problem. And then what you will do? You are out of memory. So Allah will erase in your memory what Allah He gave you before in the memory. And then He give you a new verse which is going to be similar, which is very useful for you. And this is how we so appreciate Him for Allah Deenyat. Thank you very much. <laughs> you said you cannot find abrogation in the Quran. You said only <clears throat> hadith. You see, you see, uh, you see, uh, glad liars. You are this, you are the one who's stupid. Show me the verse, abrogate the chapter of the muta. This is what I'm saying. What you are quoting for me, it says that Allah will abrogate. But where is the abrogation verses? Do you see, guys, the stupidity? They are stupid. If I say to you that there is a verse in the Quran and Allah abrogate the verse, shouldn't you give me a Quran to abrogate the verse which is in the Quran? This is what I'm saying. You don't give me a verse saying Allah abrogate. Show me the verse which abrogate that verse. Okay, so now show me. Where is the verse in the Quran? Abrogate this verse about adultery between uh, lesbians or gays. Can you show it to me? If Allah abrogate those verses, shouldn't we find those verses in the Quran? You said you don't accept the hadith. Now, abrogation is confirmed. But what is the abrogated verses? No small IQ, they don't have intelligence. Do you understand what I'm saying? Where is the verse which abrogate this verse? Where is the verse abrogate the verse before it too? I want to see it. <clears throat> 
as long you refuse the Quran. Okay, we, we will go with you. So you refuse the hadith. Okay, the hadith written 300 years after Muhammad. That's the long way, as you say. Okay, that's wonderful. Now give me the, the give me the verse, abrogate this verse. <clears throat> First of marriage is zawaj and adultery is a zina in Arabic. Do, go learn. He, he wanna he teach me Arabic. <laughs> what does this have to do with my topic, you donkey? <laughs> They want to tell me about what's the was. Secondly, uh, you idiot, as long you say it, okay, I, I will use your words to beat you. Guys, just to show you how the Muslims help me. Honest, honestly, they are they are the, my, the, my, my help. Okay, look what he said. <clears throat> the first of marriage is zawaj, and adultery is zina. So, guys, what is what is uh, what is uh, uh, what is marriage? This word, zawaj. Let me highlight it. Hold on. Zawaj. So why you your God Allah when he said to you in the Quran in chapter 4 go and do nikah As long you say that the word marriage is Zawaj Why Allah did not say go to and go and marry He say go and F women I will go with you I Want you to show me as long you claim you speak Arabic. Where is the word Zawaj? In the verse this is the verse chapter 4 verse number 3 I'm waiting for you why Allah he said nikah if them does the word nikah mean if women or marry them hello let us show what Muslims they believe I'm not going to show you myself because you might say a oh, Christian prince is not telling you the truth brother you know okay <clears throat> Let us go to Muslim website and let us see what the Muslim website said. <coughs> this is alislam.org. Alislam.org. Okay. Topic importance of in marriage in Islam. All right. What the word nikah mean in Islam? Let us see. In Islam, there's no marriage. It's the marriage you are talking about is a sexual contract. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> where is the sentence here? Okay, let us see definition for the word nikah. <clears throat> okay, read guys. Does it say the word nikah? Is literally means sexual intercourse. Let us zoom in so you can read it. There's no marriage. Are you there, Abdul? As long you are the one who said the word marriage is zawaj, the word nikah is to f a woman. Why your God Allah? He's you know he chose such a stupid, dirty, ugly word. Why he did not say it as a would you? Instead, he said, F them. F two and the three and four. And if you cannot afford it, go for one. Are you there? Is that my definition or this is your Muslim website? And here we go. Let me post the link so nobody will say I'm making things up. Here we go. This is your Muslim website. <clears throat> Do you see it? Right? Uh, Muslim proper, he said, the Quran never said, uh, follow any other scriptures. That's a lie. Let me get you busted. Here we go. Guys, look what he said. Quran never said to follow any other scriptures. Big fat lie. Here we go. We are here to get them busted. Muslim, don't try to don't don't open your mouth in my presence. You know who I am. You know who I am. Read it. Chapter five, verse number sixty-six. Chapter five, verse number sixty-eight. Both verses saying 
you should establish practicing the Torah and the Injil. Do you see it? And this is in the time of Muhammad. Allah ordering the Christians and the Jews to follow the gospel and to follow the Torah. So why you are lying? Are you going to say to me this is a weak hadith? Hmm? The same chapter, verse number 68. Say, O oh, people of the scriptures, you have not nothing of guidance till you observe the Torah and the gospel. <laughs> and here you see the stupidity. How they will observe the Torah and the gospel if you Muslim they claim that they are corrupt. How Allah is asking them to practice the Torah and the gospel if those people don't have the Torah and the gospel no more. Who is the stupid here? Yeah, depend in the context. No, depend in your stupidity, my friend, and depend and the, depend in the camera you're in your drunk yesterday. This is what depend is. Depend in the stupidity or the, uh, the camera you're in kind. You, you you maybe the camera you're in you're drinking today is not fresh. And not only that. The Quran confirmed that we have the correct Bible in the street together. Not only in those two verses, in many verses. <clears throat> Confirming what is in their position. Do you see it? Confirming what in their position Hello Stupidity Confirming what in their position different verse Confirming what in their position different verse by the way <clears throat> how you confirm what is in their position position if you don't have the book between your position yourself hmm? Refute me is the same word in Quran 3 33 49 not translated as marriage Say I am lying My friend your God when he said to you go and if he said to you go if right he did not say go and marry chapter chapter 4 verse number 3 So why you are changing the different topic you are saying to me in different verse in the Quran says those are your wives But this is not the topic According to Islam any woman you if her she is your wife obviously because Allah he says go F2 and F3 and F4 he did not say go and marry two and marry four show me the verses where it says go and marry two and marry three and marry four it doesn't say that it says go and F2 and, and F3 and F4 and by the way why Allah start by two <laughs> you have two penises in the, in the same time how you can marry two in the same time what kind of Allah he says to you go and F2 Start with two then a three then four and if you cannot afford it, then you go to one And just to show you how silly you are Isn't you you call the temporary sexual relationship and marriage and you call it zawaj correct guys They say the word zawaj zawaj mean marriage let us go with this guy. The Muslim they say that temporarily marriage is a zawaj marriage. Okay, but all of us we knew this is nothing but f but f in and sex. How that can be considered zawaj? 
when a man and a woman they agree to sleep together for three days and three nights your prophet said and this is Sahih Bukhari for the one who don't like Sahih uh, Da'if any man any woman they like to if each other for three days and look what the between two brackets you Muslim you call this is marriage how this is marriage do you see it guys how a man and the women they agree to sleep together for a period of time in the return of money this is muta how we call it marriage so you Muslim you call prostitution marriage too this is a pure prostitution you marry and then you divorce no there's no divorce here don't lie in the practice of muta there's no divorce when the time is up that's it she go and you go as if you never met there's no divorce no divorce <clears throat> However, the divorce in Islam is not because you are married, but because it's a, it's a contract. The man is the employer, the woman, she is the employee. And the employer, the, he can fire the employee anytime. And if the employer in Islam, he fired the employee three times, he cannot hire the same woman for sex again unless she goes sleep with different men. <laughs> what a stupid cult anyway we went away from our topic but as you see what the muslims they claim about seven uh, the atmosphere is a stupid and it's a lie the quran is a book of lies and stupidity and yet the muslims they add pictures and they copy from nasa what nasa the quran says that nobody can go to the space and if you try to go to the space allah will shoot your ass <clears throat> Is that right? By the way, Allah will shoot the ass of anyone who will try to go to the space by what? Anyone remember? As long as they are talking about the atmosphere. <laughs> Allah, Muhammad, he was looking at the at the uh, at the shooting stars. We call them shooting stars, right? But they are not stars. They are rocks very in front of the space. So look what the Muhammad he said. He claimed that his God told him this. That when uh, 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 Allah he created the world he decorated the sky the lowest sky with lamps and those lamps they have a job to shoot the devil if he try to go out of the earth and by the way by me myself I have to be honest with you once I was in the desert of Arabia with my beautiful camel huh? Uh, I saw a shaitan, his ass is burning. And he was screaming, saying, Zibi, Zibi, save me. I said, ah, your ass is burning because you tried to go to Allah. You deserve it. He says, I will give you anything, anything you want. I said, okay, I want a, a, a laptop. He gave me a laptop. And his ass is burning. Uh, by the way, this is a true story. I said, okay, I want a tablet. He gave me a tablet. And his ass is burning, you know, because now I take advantage of him because he, he, you know, he, he needs some water, brother. True story. And uh, you know, and Allah is shooting his ass like vzz, 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 and the stars, big stars, they are coming to the earth. And by the way, the shaitan ass is very small, huh? But Allah, He need a star to shoot the shaitan in his ass. I mean, the, I mean, look at this stupid story. The shaitan he live in the earth, and according to Muhammad, he jump in his shoulders, which means he's in the size of a monkey. So how Allah He need a lamp, a missile, a star to shoot shaitan in his ass. Hmm? So do you see how they lie and they say to you the Quran is speaking about the atmosphere the Quran is speaking look the stars the stars we see the 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 the, the, the shooting stars which is the rocks coming from the space according to the Quran they are lamps and Allah created them as a decoration do you see guys it says a decoration do you see it so he's not talking about, he's, not, he's not talking about the shooting stars he's talking about the real stars the real stars are created as decoration in the same time to shoot the shaitan with them <clears throat> i don't have a camel no more i'm using a donkey because he is a democrat and uh, they accept him as a refugee in california California.
and Bernie Sanders now he's going to give me free a free to give my donkey free education. Bernie. Uh, fee, uh, I did not ban you. I did not ban you. You ban yourself. You have a very filthy mouth like your mother. When you curse people to their mother, you bring the same curse to your mother. Do you know that? You're a filthy creature like your father. Allah. Go clean your tongue. Don't be filthy like your prophet. <clears throat> so any Muslim want to talk about science? Hmm? Is that uh, is that a weak hadith? Is that a weak Quran? Maybe this is a weak Quran. I mean, I don't know. You never know. Maybe this is a weak Quran. Hmm? Who want to say to us this is a weak Quran? Anyone? Daif, yeah, this is Daif Quran, stupid Quran. <coughs> Any Abdul? I love Abdul. I really love Abdul. Do you want to say something to us? Uh, look, I mean, the, the Quran itself is a joke. Like Allah is saying, "Blessed be, blessed be He, in whose hand is the dominion." Who is saying that? Allah. Allah is saying, "Blessed is He." Allah is saying to Allah, Allah. Allah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy, what we can say? Hey, bless be, uh, bless he. Uh, who is talking? Uh, Allah. Allah saying, bless is Allah. <laughs> oh boy, that's too much. Obviously, the one who wrote the Quran, he's in this Quran. Have an author. He keep forgetting to switch between him and Allah. Let us set a debate between me and you. Who are you? Who are you? Okay, let us do this. <clears throat> we will not set a debate. But next time I go live on air, I will let you call me in Impal Talk. Is that is that good, guys? Next time we go live on air, just remind me. I will not call it a debate because none of you can debate me. This is a joke. Next time I go on air, let me go. Let me know, you know, and uh, I will open uh, Pal Talk for you. You can call me. Good. <clears throat> or you know what forget about next time call me now do you want to do it now just to show everybody you are not serious do you want to call me now what topic we are talking this is the topic the topic is your stupid prophet what the topic now you're asking me what the topic we are eating shish kebab for the last uh, and, and drinking camel urine for the last two hours and now you're asking what the topic what the topic Do you want to call me now? <clears throat> what? What? Hello? Do you want to call me now? No? You need to prepare? Ah, you need to buy diapers and milk and <laughs> no problem, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right <clears throat> by the way uh, in my heart i was saying to myself i hope he will not call i mean come on this guy is so strong i can't tell i mean hey now i can breathe man 
Thank God you saved me. Oof. I have a headache already. Amen, oh man. Hey, by the way, just to show you something silly about the Quran, like you see, I did not choose it anyway. Actually, I was I was searching for uh, the verses about uh, uh, who is calling me now. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Jibril, I mean Jibril. He called me when it is not the time to talk. The same as what happened to the Prophet Muhammad when he received Al Fatiha. Anyone remember when Muhammad received Al Fatiha? Who remember when Muhammad received Al Fatiha? Anyone remember? <clears throat> Anyone remember? Muhammad, when I go out to the bathroom, Jibreel, he come to him and he say, Oh, Muhammad. And here we go. I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet he receive the most important verse, the Muslim they use five times a day to pray to Allah when he go to the bathroom? Look at this. This is your Muslim book, not mine. The Messenger of Allah, Allah bless him and give him bees whenever he went out. <coughs> You see, the Muslim they say out, what hour went out? Went out to do poo poo. He used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he hear this, he used to flee. What? And why Muhammad he flee? Hey, Abdul, why Muhammad he flee? Muhammad already received a lot of Quran and he heard the angel voice. Why he is he fleeing? Huh? Hey, how are you, liar? How are you? No problem. We are doing great business. Thank you. As you see, we receive Quran when we go to the bathroom as your prophet. You like it, you don't like it, we show the reference. What you can do about it. The only prophet who received the message of Allah or God during the time of the... I wish I have a camera at that time. The prophet, he take off his panty and he's sitting down... And suddenly he hear, oh Muhammad, and then he start running away. Why he run away? And then, as usual, look, his real father, Waraka ibn Nawfal, always appear in every story. So Waraka ibn Nawfal, who is the one who made Muhammad a prophet, his real father, he said to him, advise him to remain in his place when the caller call him again. Why Waraka ibn Nawfal will tell that Muhammad? Why Allah don't make Muhammad remain? Okay, what if Waraka did not say to Muhammad, remain? You Muslims, you will never have Quran. The angel, he say, oh Muhammad, Muhammad, he run away. Question, when Muhammad, he run away, the angel, he do what? He just give up? He don't go after him? Do, do angel keep saying, oh Muhammad, oh Muhammad, oh Muhammad, oh Muhammad. And Muhammad, leave me alone, leave me alone, who are you? Yeah, what is this? The angel he talked, he said, Oh, Muhammad, the guy he ran away. Hello? And no Muslim can tell us why Muhammad he ran away. <coughs> They can't explain. The best way for a Muslim to explain this is not to answer and to change the topic. Any Muslim want to explain? Or you are ashamed of your books and the stupidity there? <clears throat> right? <clears throat> Any Abdul? Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I will try to come again tomorrow. And guys, if you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. You can search for my books in Amazon, Amazon.com, Amazon France, Amazon Germany, Swedish, you know, whatever. Uh, and we have the books translated to many languages, including Spanish. 
Swedish, for sure English, French, Dutch, um, and soon we will have more and more translation to come. So if you are interested to have your own reference, feel free to read my books. And I advise the Muslims to take notes or read my books. And I challenge you to prove me wrong. And I challenge your big scholars, not you, but Eto Abdul, who do not know anything about your prophet, who do not even know how what your prophet real name, who you do not even know what the word Allah means. I feel sorry for you. None of you knows anything about this cult, but yet you claim to be a Muslim. You don't even know what Muslim means. If we ask any Muslim what Muslim mean, he will say uh, uh, to uh, submit. That's a false. Islam does not mean submit. So, <clears throat> is your book in Arabic? No, I did not write any books in Arabic for a very simple reason. The Arab do not need my books. The Arab do not need my books. Uh, give me one person who for the first 300 years church of history that called co-eternal co-equal independent son holy spirit here we go they are copy paste again okay if i give you one person are you going to accept christ if i give you a hundred person just just to show you how silly the muslims are isn't it the book is the book of john saying that isn't it the book of mark saying that isn't it the book of luke saying that isn't it the book of Acts saying that? Those are the first witnesses for Jesus. And you are saying to me for the first 300 years, you idiot. <laughs> I mean, look at the stupidity. Show me one person, brother. Show me one person. Just one person he says that. Okay, well, those. <laughs> so when the book of Mark is written, <laughs> when the book of Luke is written, when the book of John is read. <laughs> you must know you make me die laughing. I mean, you must, uh, stop drinking camel urine, brother. Stop drinking camel urine. Hmm? Now, I want to ask you the same question. I want you to show me for the first 300 years, the first one who used the word Tawheed. Can you? We don't. We, we do not need the word Trinity, my friend. Trinity is just a summary summaries of the belief, but we do not believe. We do not. We do not need the word. I'm asking you now. You Muslim, you keep saying Tawheed. Can you find me the word Tawheed in the Quran? Hello. Ah. So the concept can be found in the Quran. So why you don't accept the same that the Trinity is about the concept, is not about the word? We don't worship the word. I mean, you are being hypocrite now. So when you want, it's okay. When you want, it's not okay. So you keep saying to us, Tawheed, Tawheed, Tawheed. And we, we search the whole Quran, we cannot find the word Tawheed. So now you're asking me, okay, where we can find the Trinity, the Trinity, the Trinity. And uh, by the way, you know, for me, I do not need to prove the Trinity. Go and read the first chapter in in Genesis. It says, "In the beginning, it was the world." Uh, uh, sorry, in, in in the beginning, God created the earth and the heaven, right? And His spirit was above the water. What His what His spirit? So right away from the beginning, God and His spirit, two proven in the first line. The God of Islam has no spirit, and this is a proof that the God of Islam cannot be the God of Abraham. Do we understand people? If we go right now, <clears throat> book of Genesis. Verse number one. And two, etc. What it says?
The Book of Genesis, Chapter 1 In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Okay. And God said, so, Hold on. Let there be light. There's nothing is created yet. I mean, that's it. There's God and His Spirit. The first two lines in the Bible says, God and His Spirit. So what is left? That God is man? Guys, is it true that the Bible says that God, He came to Abraham as a man? Is it true that God, He said, we created Adam in our image? This is the Old Testament. This is not the New Testament. I'm not quoting the New Testament. And the same thing your prophet himself, he quote. <clears throat> Muhammad, he quote it without knowing, without knowing what he is doing. He got himself busted. Allah created Adam in his image and then Muhammad he add his own fabrication 60 a cubit tall <laughs> okay so how you Muslim you say that Allah don't look like a man and then you say to us that Allah created Adam in his image the Muslim they try to solve this they say oh no 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 they are saying that Allah created Adam in his, in the picture of Adam. That is stupid to say. Well, Adam is Adam. You do not need to say Allah created Adam in the image of Adam. <laughs> Unbelievable. I want to be a Muslim. I want to be a Muslim for one day. I want to feel how to be a Muslim for one day. I want to feel, I want to be stupid. Because then I can sleep. My brain will have rest. The whole world will be came in front of me, nothing but camel urine and uh, virgins waiting for me in heaven and they are naked. And that's it. I'm happy. Do you see it, Muslims? So everything in the Old Testament, the New Testament confirm the Trinity. Your strength in Quran and Hadith, etc., your weakness, is Bible my friend here we go I answer you from the Bible what my weakness is the Bible <laughs> let me tell you why I don't mix between the Bible and the Quran because the Bible says don't throw your jewels and obviously the one who made the Quran he don't deserve the jewels so we separate between the jewels of God and the garbage of Satan so when I speak about Islam, I concentrate on Islam. But you cannot talk about the Bible in front of me. Here we go. I got you busted. Now I want to ask you, is your God Allah as a spirit? Is your God Allah as a spirit? Hey, no, we don't do to, to debate uh, each, you know. I will give you 10, day, 10 minutes each. But I still I can I can speak in the same time because here I'm here to get you busted. I'm not going to let you speak for ten minutes just to blah, 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 read for me an article from the internet. My job is to get you busted, and you can do the same. Why you want two minute, ten minute? It'll take an hour. I mean, what we have we have time. Speak for ten hours. <laughs> <coughs> so look at this: the God of Islam failed. To give us anything about him the muslim do not even know the nature of god if you ask a muslim is your god allah's spirit most of them they will say yes because they are stupid they do not know the nature of their god the god of islam has no spirit and he is not a spirit which means the god of islam cannot be the god of the christians neither the god of the jews i mean if the muslim they want to say that the jews they corrupt the torah why the jews they will say i mean what the point of saying that god's spirit was above the water this is written long before Muhammad. The Arab was not exist. Muhammad was not exist. I mean, why? Why they wanna? Why they wanna? Why they wanna write this if this is not what they believe? So, 
from the beginning of the Bible, from the first two verses in the Bible, it confirmed that the God of Christianity have nothing to do with the God of Islam. Our God is a spirit, their God is not. Their God is a physical being, our God is not. Our God, he is, or he, you know, he is in a person of a man because God is almighty, he can come to us in the way he want. He came to Abraham as a man. He's almighty. Their God, he's not almighty. Their God, he said, how he can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend? My God, he said, that Mary, she have a son, yet she have no boyfriend. Why? Because the God of Mary, he can do make mary have a son without a boyfriend but the god of islam he himself cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend right <clears throat> where it says that allah is a physical being i just showed you you idiot and you can search right now in all over youtube all your scholars they are teaching that your god allah is a physical being he have a hand he have a leg he have a shin and your prophet said that and even the Quran said that you see this is why I don't want to waste my time and talk to a kid like you because obviously you do not know anything about your religion but yet you want to debate me about what I mean look at you I don't know how old are you and yet you do not know that your God Allah is a physical being okay Allah is not a spirit he is not a physical being so what he is guys let us solve this problem just to show you how silly this person is and how confused the Muslims Allah is not a spirit okay and you are saying, who told you that Allah is a physical being? Which means you are rejecting to accept that he is a physical being. So what he is? He is not a spirit. He is not a physical being. So what he is? <laughs> Gaz? <laughs> Methanol? <laughs> Yogurt? <laughs> <laughs> he does not exist. Is that what you are trying to say? So he is not a spirit and he is not a physical being, so he does not exist. His external power, well, even power is 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 a is a is a physical. I mean, obviously, you're stupid, you do not know what power is. Power is a physical. So if he's a power, that means physics. That's stupid of you to say. And by the way, your God is not powerful. Your God, he said to the Muslims, you will win the war. 100 of you can fight 1,000. They win, they got busted. <coughs> anyway, I think we had enough for today with those funny Abduls. But anyway, all of you are welcome. And really, I don't want, I like, a, I don't want to offend anyone, but I am a person who say things as I believe. So if you say something stupid, I have to say you are stupid. Sorry. Uh, this is how I am. If I say something stupid, eh, say to me you are stupid too. It's okay. And people will, will judge who is uh, saying stupid things. And, you know, by the way, as long as you are saying, who said to you Allah is a physical being, I want you next time, if you want to call me, uh, I want you to, to make a study and show me where, who is the Muslim who believe Allah is not a physical being. Is that fair, guys? And give me the reference. I want to read it. As simple as that. The Quran says Allah have a hand, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin, Allah have a face. Allah describe himself. So who are you to say he is not a physical being? Right? Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And enter, we see you soon again, maybe tomorrow. I would like to say thank you for all those who support us. Don't forget to download our videos and share them with your friends, repost them. And uh, knowledge is what we seek. And we hope the Muslims will learn and they will educate themselves and they will be able to escape this cult. Islam is nothing but a cult and no salvation in it. And even Muhammad, he says so. It's very important for us to be human when we think about God not to be animals animals always they think of what animals are programmed for 
the first thing an animal he do when he woke up in the morning he is thinking about food so we can be animals too we can be just consumer who consume grass and meat and you know we can be it's a it's a need but we did not live for that reason the god of islam he make you addicted to sex addicted to money addicted to your belly the promises of allah in heaven have nothing to do with god it's a proven that this is satanic isn't it satan who use us to, to he he used men to tempt women he used men to tempt uh, uh, women to tempt men isn't it satan who is the one who used money to tempt us isn't it satan who used gold and silver and power to tempt us this is exactly what the god of islam promises in heaven it's a temptation all of it about sex and money that's it and food for the belly what is god what is wisdom what is the spirituality where is the happiness which god can give us the happiness of islam or the god of islam is consist between two bracket testicles vagina penis stomach gold silver and naked boys around us how that can be from god this is not even las vegas this is obviously a satanic pimp trying to tempt us so we can be addicted to his slavery so he can control us and all those promises are false the true god will not promise you such a promise the true god he is more noble more holy than anything we can imagine so what kind of holiness is the holiness of giving me description of women have vagina nobody been touched what kind of god will say that what kind of God he will say to me, I will enslave 80,000 little child to serve you in heaven for eternity. That is a child abuse and that is not heaven. That is not even justice. What kind of God he create for me women just for sex? That's not fair. And it's not, that, what is love? Even God in heaven, when he created Adam, he created one Eve for him. He did not create 80,000 Eves. Which is a proven that the start cannot be different from the end if god want to give us women but in the beginning god he gave us a woman as a man so we can reproduce not just for sex sexual relationship for a reason so we can be family the two became one and they will have a baby but in heaven what is this for so what muhammad he do he tried to capture your temptation to be in his box so he can ship you to hell. You kill, you fight, you hate for his sake, and he lose nothing. Talk is cheap. Promises will never be accomplished, and you are going to go to hell thinking, dreaming about going to heaven where women are naked, waiting for you to fight over you. That is not from God, and that is silly to believe in. So I advise you, my friend, not to be silly. God, he gave you a brain. You better use it. And if you don't use it, you will lose it. And most of you, you lost it already. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon. Thank you.